So the topic of today is, does unilateral training have a place in powerlifting training? And to cut straight to the chase, I believe the answer is a resounding yes, and I'd like to enumerate a couple of the reasons why I feature single leg work in every single program that I write. So the first point I'd like to make, and the one that I'm sure people are far more interested in, is how single leg training can directly improve performance on the platform and in training. So generally speaking, unilateral work is an excellent way to hypertrophy the muscles of the lower body, which as we know are the prime movers in at least two of the powerlifting movements, the squat and the deadlift. And single leg work is an excellent option to grow the muscles of the lower body because it takes you into positions and ranges of motion that bilateral work uh, simply cannot do. Another point here is that usually it requires a lot less load to get a hypertrophy response out of a single leg movement than it does out of a double leg movement. You usually can't split squat as much as you can two leg squat. And what this means is that we can get really good growth in those muscles that we care about without generating a ton of systemic fatigue. So we can do sets of Bulgarian split squats and stuff like that without completely running our, our system into the ground the way we would if we did, let's say, an equivalent number of sets of barbell back squats. And I think it's also worth noting that on the flip side of that equation, there are ways that you can load unilateral movements heavy, and that is an excellent way to build general strength in the muscles of the lower body that can be translated over to the power lifts with further training. And the second big point I wanted to talk about here is an injury prevention standpoint. And that is a little bit of a nebulous term right now, a little bit controversial, but I think it's fair to say that in general, single leg training does tend to make people a little bit more robust. Uh, it makes injuries, I think, a little bit less likely and people a little bit more resilient to the aches and pains of powerlifting training in general. Single leg training uh, imposes a greater demand of stability on the hip joint in particular. And this can kind of uniquely improve hip function and hip mobility in a way that bilateral training simply can't do as effectively. And in my experience, this means you can actually get a little bit more mileage out of those hips because they are functioning better and more resilient to injury when you go back and do your competition movements and your bilateral lifts. Unilateral work is also unique in that it can help you address asymmetries that arise from strictly bilateral training. And while I think it's true that asymmetries are sort of inherent to human nature and that pretty much everybody has noticeable asymmetries and that usually it's not that big a deal, uh, sometimes it can be. Uh, it can present itself in the form of imbalances in hypertrophy or mobility from left to right, and that can result in big differences in force production that can at times uh, make you less efficient on the platform or can even cause overuse injuries. Unilateral work then is an excellent solution to this problem because you can uniquely isolate both sides and ensure that you are getting adequate stimulus for hypertrophy, mobility, and strength on both sides of your body. So guys, those are my thoughts. Let me know if you agree or disagree, if you include or don't include, or even enjoy single leg work in your own training in the comments below. 